a verdict in the trial of James Crumbly, the father charged after his son shot and killed four students in his Michigan school. Just moments ago, a jury finding him guilty on all four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Adrian Brodus joins us now live tonight outside that courthouse in Pontiac, Michigan. Adrian, walk us through what happened here. The same verdict, right, uh, that the mother here, Jennifer, got as well just a couple weeks ago. That's right, Tom. James Crumbly hearing his fate inside of the same courtroom where his wife, Jennifer, was also found guilty on all four Four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one count for each student who was killed more than two years ago at Oxford High School. It took this jury more than eight and a half hours to reach that verdict. The jury, six men, six women, split evenly, some of them gun owners, some of them also parents. As that verdict was read, James Crumbly shook his head. Also in the courtroom, parents of the students who were killed. The mother of Madison Baldwin, her name is Nicole. She wept as the jury four person read that verdict. I want to take you back over what the prosecution's key argument was, arguing in part that this school shooting was preventable and foreseeable by James Crumbly. The prosecutor argued over a course of four days, the trial, we heard testimony five days, but four days, the prosecution brought various witnesses to the stand. Fourteen of them were the same witnesses we heard from in the Jennifer Crumbly trial, but saying that James Crumbly, who was responsible for storing the gun, could have taken better steps to prevent all of this from happening, Tom. I'm waiting and then, Adrian, uh, can you take us inside the courtroom? What, what was James's reaction? I mean, obviously, he, he may have known that his fate was similar to his wife's, right? That, that there wasn't going to be a surprise here. But take us into the moments of one, once it happened. So he heard that verdict inside of courtroom 2C behind me. And as the jury for a port, four person read the verdict, he shook his head. He pressed his lips together. Behind him were members of, or family members of some of the students who were killed. Not much more reaction from James Crumbly beyond that. He was led out of the courtroom in handcuffs. He is set, scheduled to be sentenced in April. In fact, this same week, his wife, Jennifer Crumbly will be sentenced and their son, who has been referred to as the shooter throughout uh, both trials, is already serving a life sentence without parole. So while some may call this a victory for the prosecution, a victory for the families, really no one wins. The parents who lost their children that day will never see their kids again. They only have memories. And every time the families told me they have to sit in the courtroom and hear the testimony it doesn't get any easier. A big yeah. key or big piece of evidence was the surveillance video that uh, captured right. that school shooting on camera, Tom. Adrian Brodus for us tonight from that courthouse in Pontiac, Michigan. If you're just joining our coverage, again, the breaking news, James Crumbly, the father of that Oxford school shooter, found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.